everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing my empties for the month of March, April and May, I think. Um, I'm pretty sure I did my February ones and then didn't get a chance to upload it because I didn't edit it. And then by the time I was about to edit it, it was like the next month. So these have been collecting for quite some time now and I've managed to lose a few of the packets of like samples that I've gotten through Bellbox that I finished up. But basically the shampoo and conditioner that I got a while back, I finished that up. And I finished an Avon sample as well? I can't remember. Anyways, for hair care products I finished my Lee Stafford Bleach Blondes um, shampoo and my Fudge Clean Blonde Conditioner. These two were heaven sent. Lee Stafford kind of smells like potpourri. This smells like coconut. I am now using the shampoo and conditioner combination from this and I'll probably switch to the shampoo and conditioner combination from Fudge. I like them both. Will I repurchase? I just told you, of course. <laughs> the next empty is something that I've gotten 101 times from Bellabox. Okay, maybe I'm exaggerating, but it's the Wen uh, Sweet Almond Mint Cleansing Conditioner. I don't mind it. I don't love it though. I don't know. Am I going to purchase it? No. Am I going to use it if I get another sample of it? Yes. Am I still a subscriber to Bellabox? No, I had to put that one on hold just until I can get my money sorted out. So, just putting that all out in the air. I do still love them and I will still resubscribe when I get a little bit more money coming in. Um, and I'll leave a link down below so that you guys can sign up because I definitely, definitely, definitely recommend it. Um, another thing I got from Bellabox is the Botanical Intensive Care Intensive Healing Foot Mask in Apple. These were really weird. They were like plastic. They weren't... Were they plastic? I'm pretty sure these were plastic, like plastic bags. Really not that comfortable and not that good either. So I wasn't a huge fan. Will I purchase? No. A body care product, the Palm Olive Naturals Revitalizing uh, Shower Gel. I hated this stuff. It was absolutely awful. It's like meant to be peach and rose, but all I could smell was rose, and I hate the smell of rose. So, yeah, no. I have a much better shower gel now that I'm actually really loving. Other body care stuff, the Rexona Women, oh, I have another one too. Long lasting protection in cool white dry. I hated this stuff, it was way too powdery. Not a huge fan. The other one, this is the Rexona Invisible Dry Pure. I love this stuff, I have a second like canister of it. It does kind of make me choke a little bit though, which is kind of annoying, but I love the smell and yeah. Then we have a random one, the Oral-B Glamorous White Sparkling Mint 3D White Luxe. This was really blue from memory. Yeah, really blue. I don't know if I liked this as much as I like the regular 3D white stuff. And I can't really remember why, but yeah, I got this because it was on sale. I do remember that. <laughs> Skincare stuff, we have, I know I'm jumping all over the place. Garnier Skin Naturals Pore Refining Toner, Shine Be Gone, blah blah blah. Hated this stuff because it has alcohol in it. Alcohol is like the devil for your skin and I didn't think to check it for alcohol when I bought it. I was just like, yeah, it says natural, it's gotta be good. I'm an idiot. Always check the ingredients for alcohol because alcohol is bad. And yeah, will I repurchase? Safe to say, no. Another skincare product, this is hilarious. This is the uh, Timeless Truth Multi-Peptide Calming Revitalized Sheet Mask. I hated this. I had never tried a sheet mask before, so I tried this one out. This came in one of my Bella boxes a few months ago, and I tried it, and it was absolutely awful. The most awkward experience ever. It felt so weird, and I didn't see any results either. It was just terrible. Like, what's the point? It's just such an Asian thing to do. It's, it just... And it doesn't do anything! It's... no. Nah. I knew I didn't like sheet masks and now I know for sure. More skincare stuff. The Kate Somerville Detox Daily Cleanser. Love this stuff. Really hygienic little bottle because you just like... Doop and then squeeze and then doop and then done. Really good. It was tea tree. I love tea tree. And tea tree loves my skin. So... <laughs> more skincare. Two more items and then there's a makeup one. Two makeup wipes. This is the What Not Natural Organic Facial Wipes. These are for sensitive skin. There was five wipes in these, so I'm guessing it came from Bellabox. I don't think I like What Not wipes. I don't think they're very effective. And then I also have the Nivea Daily Essentials Fragrance Free Facial Cleansing Wipes. These were okay. I think they did an alright job, but I think from memory they weren't very moist. I can't quite remember. And I'm pretty sure I got these because they're on sale. Pretty sure. 
So there's that. And the last item is a makeup item. I actually finished a makeup item, which is kind of amazing because to be honest with you, being a personal trainer, I hardly ever wear makeup and I have quite a bit of it. So <laughs> this is the e.l.f. waterproof eyeliner pen and it is actually not that bad, but from memory when I tried to use it, it would like, it's really faded. It used to be a lot more pigmented and because I always use it on my eyes when I have eyeshadow on, it was getting all gunked up with eyeshadow, so it was just, just not doing it anymore. It wasn't applying evenly. But when it's brand new, I loved this stuff. It was really good. I've been feeling really weird lately, so I'm out of breath. <laughs> but yeah, I do enjoy the e.l.f. waterproof eyeliner. I think I have this in blue as well. This is black. I'm probably never going to use the blue, but I have it if I ever wanted to. So yay, that's that. And those are all my empties. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you've tried any of these products and if you have a good suggestion for replacements, because obviously I need to buy new ones. Yeah, leave your comments down below and make sure you subscribe so that you can see if I try out your suggestion and see what I finish up this month. You guys will see me in the next video, so yeah, okay. Bye guys!